Thanks largely in part to the writings of W. Scott Elliott, Helena P. Blavatsky, Samuel Onweor, and to a lesser extent Gurdjieff, we still have accurate details of the seven Atlantean subraces and approximate times for the four Atlantean ages. I wanted to include a section on this in the video for the Lemurians, but every source I encountered disagreed on the names and history of the Lemurian subraces, so it is safe to say that that information has been lost to time. Thankfully, the knowledge of the Atlantean subraces is still for the most part well intact. There are some disagreements, but for the most part it isn't too difficult to come to a general consensus. The Ramwahals are the first subrace of the Atlantean root race. I will put spellings of these names in the video description. They started on a small island near the main body of the early Atlantean continent, demarcated by the number one. This land is what survived the destruction of Lemuria. The Ramwahals were a mixture of beings brought to Earth for the start of a new race, and the best survivors of the old Lemurian race. Since the Lemurians were a primarily dark-skinned people, the Ramwahals had a much darker complexion than the other Atlantean subraces. They reached their height during Atlantis's Golden Age, meaning that greed, strife, and war were unheard of.